How to change your default apps on a Samsung Galaxy phone, Android Central. Samsung makes some of the most popular, well-built, and acclaimed smartphones in the industry. And while its touch with software skin didn't have a ton of fans, its newer One UI version is among our favorites. What's not necessarily our favorite thing is the fact that Samsung's apps are set as the default when you first set up your Galaxy phone. Whether it's Samsung Internet, which isn't bad at all, over Chrome. Samsung Gallery over Google Photos. Or Samsung Messages over Google Messages. You have the right and ability to change your preferred app. We'll show you how easy it is to do so that you can have the optimal One UI experience on your Samsung Galaxy phone. We've all seen the pop-up alerts asking us which app we want to use to open a particular file. Link. Image. Or document. Chances are we've already dismissed the notification. Or we've clicked on the, always used this app option and never thought about it again. The good news is that even if you've already set a default app, you can change it at any time you like. Let's take a look. Choose which category of default apps you want to change, assistant. Browser. Launch your phone. SMS. Etc. I'll tap on the messages app. Here you will be presented with the available alternatives installed on your phone. Tap on a different app. That's it. No need to confirm or accept any changes. From now on, when you try to perform an action that involves that app category, SMS messaging, web browsing, etc., the system will know which app you want to use and will act accordingly. If you've set a default app and want to clear the option so that you are prompted to select a new default the next time you open a link or a file, you can do so. Scroll through the list and select the app that you want to clear default settings. Here I've chosen Google Photos. What this will do, is the next time you try to open an image or save a photo, you'll get a pop-up asking which app you wish to use, like Samsung's Gallery app, Google Photos, or whatever other photo apps you have installed. You will be able to select your default, in this case, photo, app then and there. Or go back into the settings and change it as we demonstrated above. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is undoubtedly shaping up to be one of the best phones of the year. With incredibly powerful specs and cameras that should meet just about anyone's needs. The Samsung Galaxy A51 gives you many of the features you covet from more premium flagships for half or even one-third the price. Plus. You get a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Google Assistant is the most useful smart voice assistant for getting your questions answered and keeping track of your digital life. But it's also great at helping you control your smart home devices and services. Flagship phones are great. Paying full price for them isn't. Refurbished phones let you get a flagship device for a fraction of the cost. And these are a few of our favorites. It's always a stressful situation in the event that something happens to your smartphone. This is true for the Nokia 7.1 as you wouldn't want to have to replace your new device due to a cracked screen. To combat those concerns, we have found the best cases you can get for your new phone. Text source, androidcentral.com.